Okay, let's go ahead and do the text for the uh, for this part, right? So if I look at the reference image, you say it says Winchester Special here, and two different fonts. This first font, let's zoom in a bit. You can see is it looks like it was um, you know chiseled in there by hand. So we could go through and do that. I'm going to actually go ahead and just find a font that. I can kind of manipulate a little bit to look a little bit like this. Um, but a couple things to note, it's all in caps, right? And it's a serif font. And this special is a sans serif font. It looks as though it was stamped in. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is um, go to, I'm going to create this in Photoshop. And I went ahead and found um, a font that I'm going to use called Old Style on defont.com so I downloaded that you can find any font that you think closely matches the reference and in Photoshop I created a black and white image and you can see I um, the background is black and the text is white then I went ahead and saved this into the source images of my project folder. This is just a 2048 by 2048, so it should be square. All right, so now that I have that, inside of Substance Painter, to get that in here, you need to import it into your assets, which will be in the shelf. So to import, click on this little arrow, it says import resources, click on add resources, and then find your, find, your folder you want to add so there it is Winchester PSD hit open it'll show up here Winchester PSD we're going to change click on undefined and change this to alpha and then import your resources to you're going to click on this drop down menu current session means that when you close out of substance painter this resource will no longer be inside of your shelf um, project means that it will stick with your current save and shelf means you want it permanently, whenever you open up Substance Painter, you want it to be available to you. So I'm gonna save it in the project, and then I'll hit import. And after you hit import, you'll see it'll show up in your alphas. So let's create a new fill layer. And I'm going to name this um, text. one and I'll turn off metal rough and normal <clears throat> for the base color I'm going to choose something kind of dark you'll see that if I look at the reference it's darker in there um, so that could just be dirt or grime but we're just gonna mimic that through adjusting the color height I'll pull this down a little bit then I'm going to add a black mask and down here where it says um, where it says alpha I'm going to drag the Winchester onto that onto alpha if I scroll in a couple things one if we look at our reference we'll see that this I need to rotate my text so it is facing the correct way and right now it's facing the wrong way so if I scroll up here let's increase the size um, turn spacing up a little bit just so we can see it better in the display uh, we're going to change this from tangent wrap to UV And then where it says angle, I'm going to change this to 180, so it's facing the other way. Over here on this viewport, I can rotate this in this direction. And here I can rotate this like so. And I'm going to have my reference open to figure out sort of the spacing I want from here to the text and the size of the text. So I'll start just by... Oops, let's change the light, something like this. Uh, 
There it is. I'm going to undo that, select this, and I'm going to adjust the height. Turn it down a little bit. Select the mask again, and let's try that again. Select the, let's adjust the height again. So that's pretty good. We don't want it to be, you know, stand out too much. And then next, I just need to add the text of special uh, underneath here with a couple of lines on either side. So I'm going to go ahead and create that in Photoshop and import it real quick. Time to go ahead and import the special text. The text that says special. It is an alpha and we're going to import it to this project, import, there it is. I'm going to rename this layer to Winchester, let's see, T for text underscore Winchester. Then I will duplicate the layer, get rid of the mask, add a black mask, Find the special alpha. It's <clears throat> one eighty, that's good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So if I look at my reference, you can see it's directly underneath and it's got these sidebars that kind of extend to the same uh, width, maybe a little bit further, as the text Winchester. So I'm going to use that as my guide. Then let's go ahead and change our brush so that we can do this little sidebars. <clears throat> I'm going to try and find a square alpha, like this one. And spacing, I'll turn all the way down. Decrease the size. All right, let's take a look at this. This is a little strong, so I'm going to right click, go down to add filter. It's, I think it's out of view for you, but if you keep going down to beneath add levels, there's add filter. I'm going to click on filter and let's clamp it. So I selected clamp and now if I, you can see if I pull this um, max down, I can sort of adjust the strength via this filter. So I'm just going to pull it down a little bit like that. I'm going to make a new folder. Put it at the top and I'm just going to name this text. And then I'm going to put both of those inside the text folder. All right, we're getting closer. Um, in the next video, we will go ahead make some adjustments and add some more color um, variation. Right now this is very like two, three tone color and we need some more variation. Uh, and then we'll probably be done. We'll mess with this some more. See you there.